that's me, Randy May Humbucker, and I am a builder with my sister's company, New Bull Properties, and that is my sister behind me in the yellow. Her name is Fox New Bull. Hey there, sis, how's it going? Yes, he's chuckling. Well, we're here looking at a, a property that she has just acquired that she would like to find a buyer for and then maybe they would hire us to build a home for them so here we are just checking it out it's in Newcrest it's a 40 by 30 lot nice and level beautiful neighborhood very undeveloped area it's just a brand new area that uh, we've been we're very fond of we'd like to build a whole lot of homes here <coughs> pardon me so I'm just chatting with my sister, and we're we're uh, brainstorming here on what type of type of client would be interested in this lot. It's got a little pond right next to it, which is actually public access. But I think uh, we could. It's got a lot of potential, and so me and Foxy we come over and we're gonna check this out, and then our other sister Nana. Or Nanette uh, is going to, well, she's the realtor, and so we got to connect with her, and she'll check into it. She, she's got to find the buyer, someone who wants to build an empty lot and uh, hire me to build their home on it. So I'm just walking the lot now, I'm measuring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm just getting an idea of the size here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pacing it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Forty by thirty, roughly. So I lost count there. All right. I'm just checking the views and thinking about the hookup to the to the utilities. There there are phone poles. I don't see no phone poles must be underground. I'm gonna have to call eight one one for our digging and get the permits and all that. My other sister Daphne's gonna work with the client on um the decorating aspect of it. We have a um, variety of architects that we work with. No set one. That's about seven feet there. There's the pond right behind me for fishing. As you can see, there's fishing there. Just run into the corner there. Just, just, just kind of stretch my legs a little. I've got to get me some coveralls. My old ones look terrible, and I, this ain't appropriate what I'm wearing. I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Had some getting a little irritated. Sorry about that. But, uh, sorry. Well, I think I head home. That's about all I can do for now. Hello, this is Nana Mellon you're looking at. I am the realtor, one of the sisters. <laughs> I'm looking at my tablet and I'm reading up on my real estate. I just checking, you know, refreshing my memory on things. Uh, waiting for Renny May and Foxy to come back after looking at this lot. And I'm thinking about who might be a good client, you know, I gotta get with my connections, yeah, and, uh, but I'm just looking over some things here right now, yeah, we five sisters, we're sharing a house, that we just bought, we've been remodeling it, it's in pretty good shape, but of course we gotta decorate it. I love this office. This is our business office. This is where our clients come. And of course we designed it. Daphne had a big hand in it. And she is our designer. 
and Rainy, of course, is her assistant. And I'm just looking here at my website. Uh, just thought of something a little funny there. I had to chuckle. <laughs> so I'm looking at leads who would be interested. I understand. I ain't seen the property. It's a 40 by 30 in Newcrest. And that should bring a pretty penny. Newcrest is a lovely new neighborhood. And uh, I, Foxy's a good businesswoman, and so she, she's she got a good nose for these things. <laughs> so let me see. I got a, there was somebody who sent me this email, and I think I'm going to call them and check them out. So we're just having a little conversation here. Mm -hmm. They actually, uh, this is my second phone call. I'm actually talking with a potential client right now. So, uh, now I'm with Foxy and we're looking at the property, me and her. Well, so what do you think? You like it? You think there's potential? Yeah, Nana thinks that it's got a good potential and she does have someone in mind even, so that's terrific. I worry. I worry. This is a rather intense business for me. I'm always kind of tense. <laughs> I'm the CEO of this business that I'm proud of. New Bowl Properties. I'm very proud of it. And I can trust my sisters. So I'm in business with them. And they all have very different personalities. But there's love and trust. So you can't fault that. So we're discussing the potentials. And she's telling me about this client that seems quite interested. And uh, we're getting excited. I'm starting to get a little excited. I'm starting to allow myself to get excited. <laughs> Nana's joking now. Blah, blah, blah. She's always making me laugh. She's a good schmoozer, that Nana sister of mine. And it's very useful. We do deal with celebrities in this business. And I am not good at schmoozing. And so I count on wonderful Nana to be there. <laughs> The other sisters, well, Rainy, Rainy's the shy one, and so she and I were not so much the schmoozy types, but Nana's a pro at it, Rainy May's darn good at it, and Daphne does pretty well, too. It's just Rainy and I that we're not, <laughs> not into that. Rainy's an animal lover. She just assists Daphne. She's very creative, very artistic like Daphne is. I am not at all artistic. And Anna, she's just a people person. I'm the businesswoman. Yeah, she's just telling me another joke here. Gossiping and joking. Uh, she keeps it light, which is great. Keeps my stress level down. God bless her. I'm not even sure what we're talking about here. <laughs> I'm sure it was fun. <laughs> oh, she's encouraging me, as usual. Yeah, so supportive. What a wonderful sister. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought finally thought of this funny story to tell her, so I thought I'd just share that with her. It just it was so funny. Oh, it, I love that story. Yeah, she loved it too. <laughs> But I'm getting kind of tired. I need to head home. I have some paperwork to do. Got to get this this um, lot paperwork finished up. So I told her I'll meet her back at the house. Oh boy, I'm tired too. She was pushed. Oh well, let me walk around a little more. Make sure there ain't no holes or nothing. It's nice and dark, so. And now would be the time to find a sinkhole or something right in the dock. So I'm on the phone. I'm calling the client. I says, Mr. I'm here. I'm looking at it. He's a celebrity. Oh, my God. And Mr. Celebrity, it, it looks beautiful. Are you interested in um, seeing it tomorrow? And he says, yes, I am. And, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm thinking this. Oh, my God. So I'm getting excited, but you know, I'm playing it cool on the phone, yeah, so, <laughs> oh my god. So, it looks like uh, tomorrow we're going to have a meeting with our celebrity client, and I am Bush, and it's time to head home. I think I'll make some dinner. Well, here's me, and it's actually the same evening, and I'm with our client, our celebrity, Mr. Barry. And that's his cute little dog over there eating. He is right now he in living in a nearby town, renting this very nice place, and he wants to buy our property. And he is willing to in, entrust us with the building and design of it. And, of course, he will confer with us on everything, and... I'm going to have to choose up all his finishes and all that, I'm telling him. And I'll tell, we're going to take him over to the lot at his convenience. And uh, he seemed very interested. He's a very, very nice man. Maybe a little temperamental sometimes, but that's all right. I'm temperamental too. I can handle it. Cute. We're waiting for Daphne to, to turn up. She wanted to talk to him about... Um, design aspects like what kind of what his taste is and things like that and there she is yes i'm terribly sorry i arrived a bit late yes that is i in the very colorful frock and i'm getting to know mr barry and explaining my role in things seems like a pleasant enough fellow and I understand he has a little dog, and he was explaining that his concern is that the dog not have to to run up and down steps very much because she's rather small. Now she has a lot of energy, but she's also just small, and it's just a bit of work as she whisks past us. <laughs> oh dear! And there's no other family to be he and his dog, and perhaps. They might have some staff later. He has some very valuable musical instruments. He's a musician and he has some very valuable instruments. And asked about help with moving and I said, yes, certainly we can arrange a moving company for you, sir. And so Daphne, I, Daphne, and many, many and I ran home. Ugh, this is me, Fox. I'm having a headache. This is very intense. Well, it's the next day, and there's Mr. Barry right next to me, and um, he said he's in a terrible rush. He says the first words out of his mouth, he's in a terrible rush. He's got to go to a meeting very, very soon, and he absolutely can't be late for. So, yeah, thanks, Mr. No pressure. So, <laughs> it's okay. I'm calm. I'm good, I'm fine. Oh, and that's a very famous person right there. Holy cow. But it's all right, I'm cool. Ray may be super cool talking to him. How can she do that? How, how can she not be just totally starstruck? I just, I just don't get it.
And here I'm trying to like talk to him. See, and I make him mad in the first two seconds. Look, look at him. He's furious with me. Now, what did I do? I said, hello. Jeez. Temperamental. <laughs> So I try to kind of smooth things over. I mean, I am the CEO, CEO of the company. I'm the boss lady, and <coughs> I should know how to handle people. But look what I've done. He's furious. He's furious. And uh, Nana, look at Nana. Oh, boy. I've done it again. I've done it again. And I'm mad, but I'm not going to say anything. But boy, am I mad. Because he's just was just, uh, in, I don't know, I don't know, what do you do, what do you do, tell me Renny Mae, what do you do, I don't, God, I'm sorry, Ooh, he stormed off, Daphne ran after him, but we managed to get him to the office, later that day, here we are, Whew. design the paperwork, okay, drama, 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 already, <laughs> oh boy, so, Mr. Barry, okay, well, well, he was good now. He was fine. He had something to eat. He's mellowed out. He got to his meeting. It went well, he says. And, and so we we're discussing the paperwork, the realtor and I, and um, he seemed very pleased. So that's good. Oh. <laughs> so I'm explaining things, and then I decided I needed to check my papers on the computer and I will print out some forms for him to sign and Nana's explaining the process and he's pretty familiar with it but we we are obliged by law to explain it this is a vacant lot so we don't have to worry about disclosure that the place was haunted or anything but it looks good. It looks good. He's going to sign it and we'll be good to go and we can start the construction like right away because he's in a rental and he wants to get moved in. Don't blame him a bit. Don't blame him a bit. <sighs> so here we go. This is great. I'm excited. New Bowl Properties has a new client. Just having a nice chat. Nana's schmoozing him along. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Nana's really good at, at the schmoozing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Thank you. Thank you for your business. <laughs> 